um, curtailment, what would you say that that is putting at risk in this community? Well, I think the biggest risk is employment for our workers. You know, we have workers that, you know, definitely support their families and rely on, on, on the crops that we grow. That's, that's where their employment is uh, secured. And when we lose our crops, those families will lose their employment. And I, that's a big risk. So I, we, that's another thing, farmers, we care about our employees. You know, we provide health insurance, vacations, we take care of them because they're very important to us as we are to them. And I just feel like, you know, this thing is gonna be devastating for our workforce. If we don't have our crops to harvest, to grow, to take care of, we, we have no, no, uh, we can't employ our workers. And what about the trickle down even into the consumer? Well, and that's it. In our particular operation, we're, we pack a lot of our bell peppers. And we pack all our, our number ones, our extra large and large and choice peppers, go into a box and go into the market. Outside of that, there's 10, 15 percent of that grade that goes into a processing grade that goes to processing plants. And sometimes we'll ship anywhere from three to four hundred thousand pounds a week of off grade into a freezer and processing plant. There again, when there's no peppers, they don't have, they're going to have to lay off their crews as well. And it just keeps going down and down. Then there's a packaging that, that that we use to package our bell peppers. You know, we buy, and then there's employees that, that create the packaging, that, that build the packaging that we sometimes will be packing, you know, thousands of cartons a day, leave alone going into the week. And when we stop ordering cartons, so that's just two examples of how the whole thing trickles down, but you know, it's, it's part of it. It's part of the whole picture. A lot of people don't get the whole picture.